right. I'm here going to try to do some snorkel fishing. Uh, first thing I had to do is put on this wetsuit since it's freezing. Uh, they don't tell you in the instructions that this is an act of Congress. I lost a real five pounds putting this thing on. Um, I got about three inches taller. My voice went up half an octave and there's a lump in my throat I think I used to piss with. And uh, so I got the little fixed line micro line hooked up. My mask is already fogged up. I, I don't even know if I'm in the right place, but this looks like great darter territory. Probably going to need another sinker. Uh, maybe not. But uh, I'm get lots out from the uh, snorkel. Uh, other than that, I, I have no idea. I've never used this GoPro on my head before or underwater, so I have no idea if it's capturing anything. So, other than all that, I think we are ready to go. Far, freezing cold. Yeah. Freezing, freezing, yeah. The water's getting in my feet. And up my legs. That's awesome. Alright, time to get in here. I got nothing on my person. Yeah. Oh, this is cold ass water. And I'm already wet everywhere. Oh. Alright, you didn't even didn't even put the snorkel in my mouth. As you will see, I have absolutely no idea where the camera is pointing at any time. Uh, whether it's in the water, out of the water, if the target fish is even in the frame. Uh, at no time is any target fish centered, uh, so apologies for that. Uh, this will clearly be a trial and error process over a few trips, or many trips, uh, to get it right. Uh, and though they look good on the computer and GoPro playback, I'm not sure if the darters and bait will even be visible on YouTube screens. Hopefully you can see enough to make it this enjoyable and it will get better. Uh, if not, I offer a full refund on your admission price. Alright, I saw a huge darter. Give me this little net in case I could can grab one. I saw a huge darter, a bunch of huge shiners. The darter ran away. I don't know if you can hear me. Probably can hear a bunch of mumbles. Like on sight, he's, he ran, and then I lost sight of it. I lost all vision. Alright, let's try it again. So far, all I've caught is uh, a bad case of camel toe. And I don't even have a camel. So uh, that's probably not good. Yes, I found it right there. I think that's why my kid bought them.
Bait's too big, and yeah, my sinker's too far from the hook. All right, if this doesn't work, uh, we go looking for bugs to use as bait. an Alabama shiner if they even had those in here I don't know and Tennessee system that sure is what it looks like it could be a common I don't know it's all fogged up here yep that's got to be an Alabama shiner beautiful beautiful colors oh yeah look at that it's one of the nicest looking ones I've had my Alabama shiners in the beautiful wow Gorgeous. everywhere all you have to do to find bugs is you know larva turn over some rocks on the stream side I've never been able to find anything I just I turned over so many rocks right now I qualify as a new species of stone roller the only bug I found was an empty mayfly husk and uh, an ant so I got the ants abdomen on here Let's see what this will do found a bug. I got a piece of the bug on my hook. Oh God.
I got one. Holy cow, but it's a black bandit. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Every single time one would get on it, the current would knock me over. It would knock me out of place. Uh, hopefully it was uh, worth it. Hopefully it's a new species. Looks like it is possibly a bronze. That would be awesome. All right, the key is getting those bugs because they are biting now. I suck at get it, catching them, but all right, here is what I'm guessing is something new for me. Does not look like a black wounded, but it does look in the complex. Probably is. Probably not a bronze. Probably just something I caught before, but I've never seen these kind of markings exactly like this. Really cool. But I don't think it's anything but what I've already got because it always is. Uh, beautiful uh, yeah, gold a little lighter background there a gold uh, margin on its dorsal there you go, that's probably the best yeah I will not even sit still for a shot it's upset. It's a gorgeous fish. Where's all your spaz to stick now? There you go. I don't even know. I don't even know if that was caught on a captured on GoPro. The camera was even in the water at the time. But that was good. Man. Getting that bug was the key. Because everything's biting now. I just suck at catching, hooking them. Oh, I had such a big one. There was like a four plus incher on there. And he was on the hook. I almost had him out of the water. Uh, and I adjusted the bait up the hook, showing just a tad to get that one. Uh, I've seen so many tailed frogs, little tiny peepers on the shoreline. And there's a lot of dead ones because people were stepping on them or they dried out. I was going to, I was so desperate I was going to use a little piece of that but uh, all right back into it see oh I wish I got that little one the little one was a different species really cool looking Oh. Yes. Oh. 
What in the hell? Oh, yes. That was such a big one. Oh, he had it three times before I got him. Oh, it's the same species, looks like, but what a beauty. What a beauty. Yeah, that could be bronze. Right. There's, yep, I think that's the same thing as the last time. Uh, I've caught a lot of black banded darters. And I don't remember them ever having that uh, bronze. Is there anywhere that there's light? Is there light anywhere? That bronze <sighs> fin margin on the dorsal. I guess this is the best back in here. Oh, gorgeous fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is a bronze darter. I certainly hope it is. Oh, what a beauty. Ooh, what a big, beautiful thing. Chill out, chill out. nice. Good big boy. Alright, I'm going to try to stack some up now. Oh, it's amazing what happens when you get the right bait. <clears throat> okay. I think I can try to find a different species now. Like that first little one when I got the good bait on. The thing about finding that big fat grub also is that uh, once this piece is gone, I got to a lot more left. So, as I say, once more into the beach. Oh no! Oh shit! Maybe this is one of the ones I'm trying to get. Oh, looks close, looks close. It's very close. No, exact same species. Yeah. It's the same thing every time. There is one out there that I see frequently. Uh, does not like to bite. And a couple times they've been interested, the shiners swarmed them. Couldn't get them. <sighs> Whatever this is, there's a lot of these out there. Got my smallmouth bass for this trip. Micro, smallest one I've ever caught. That is a beautiful fish, man. Try to some light. Ah, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. It's a beautiful fish. There you go. No. 
just no way to get any friggin' light here. Uh, I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. Hmm. Now the catch looks like the same kind. It actually looks a little different. This, it's got this thing is all connected. I saw a number of these with fully connected, but they were thicker. And those, I think, are different species. This, I think, is the same. They won't bite. These bite. That makes me believe it's the same species. Just like there. Just go to convert or whatever it is. Very pretty thing. Big sucker. Big sucker hachi. This does look different than those no other fun. ones, but probably not. Right. I'm really pretending you're dead. Oh, beautiful fins. You're free to swim. Wow, this guy doesn't want to go. Next me. <laughs> so here we have a sculpin of some sort. I don't know what kind. Let's see. Let's see what's here. I right, caught this Alabama traditional fishing. Uh, just, there's just no no light anywhere. It's kind of light right there. It's good as it goes. Not nearly as colorful as that big one, but they're they're pretty shiny. This is likely the same thing, but this one looks like a brown darter to me. I think they have brown darters up here. So it looks like. Well, yet another one of the same kind. Uh, just got tired of the other ones ignoring me. <laughs> there we go. Is that better? I don't know. Oh, that's better right there, I guess. I'm guessing these are all bronze or black banded. <laughs> just my luck. Probably all black maybe. Right. A little darter? Uh -huh. It's called a darter? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. yeah, be careful not to squeeze him. Mama. All right, here's the smallest one so far. There's the light. Is that the light? Yeah. The light is close yeah. enough to light. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That looks like a Kusa darter on the dorsals. Uh, same thing I've caught a couple of times at least already. Cool looking fish. The smallest one easily so far. No, no, they're too little. If they did, you wouldn't even feel it. You said 
magical fish. It'd be like a tickle. All right, well, I am done with my uh, snorkel fishing. Hopefully I got uh, some of the catches on camera um, dry until I think, now I think my feet are all wet. I think my, there's a hole in my waders. Uh, somewhere around the crotch area. That's weird. There's some large fish in this very deep area here that I didn't know was so deep. Uh, I just saw, I'm freaking believably stupid. I just saw one, looked like a trout. Uh, hopefully there's a bass in here. I threw some lures through here. A lot of lures. Well, no. One lure. A lot of throws, a lot of casts. Got nothing. Um, so, whatever they are, they're not very aggressive. But maybe a nightcrawler can tempt them. So, overall, I think I got at least one life lister shiner yesterday. Uh, yesterday was a another you know near blowout georgia crap conditions uh, had to be saved with just really hard work and scrounging today i've got at least one i believe possibly two life lister uh darters. saw some hog suckers they suck they, they, they run away they're brave brave sir robins uh saw even a little teeny tiny mad tom i think if it wasn't half inch long and I would have had a shot at him. Uh, saw at least two species of darter that one would not bite. The other uh, a couple of few times I was really close to getting a bite. <laughs> one more. And uh, the freaking Alabama shiners would just blast in and try to get the bait and then spook it. Um, and then a couple of times, a giant whatever that darter is that I caught every single time, one of them would just blast in and not go for the bait, just attack the dart, the other darter. Um, and I, I don't know if he's trying to eat him. It was you know, a little more than half his size each time. So overall, uh, satisfying weekend and getting out before it's too dark. I could stick around tonight, fall, see if it makes the darters bite anymore, but it's it's deep water here, so I might not even be able to see them. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Uh, same darters will and won't bite. And uh, also finding those uh, bugs that they eventually bit on, not going to happen at night. So, all right, until next time.